Hello and welcome to this video on SWIFT. SWIFT stands for Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, and it is the world's largest financial messaging network. In this video, we'll discuss how SWIFT works, its benefits, and the potential risks involved. So, let's get started. SWIFT stands for Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. It is a global financial messaging network that enables banks and financial institutions to securely and quickly exchange information and conduct financial transactions. SWIFT was established in 1973 and is headquartered in Belgium. The primary purpose of SWIFT is to provide a standardized messaging system for financial institutions. It allows banks to send and receive information about financial transactions, such as wire transfers, securities trades, and foreign exchange transactions. The SWIFT network is used by over 11,000 financial institutions across 200 countries, making it the world's largest financial messaging network. SWIFT's messaging system is designed to be fast, secure, and reliable. It uses a standardized messaging format that ensures all parties involved in a transaction have the same information, reducing the risk of errors and fraud. SWIFT's messaging format is also designed to be easy to integrate with existing banking systems, reducing the need for complex and expensive custom integrations. One of the key benefits of SWIFT is its ability to facilitate international transactions. Different countries may have different financial regulations and requirements, which can make it difficult for banks to communicate and conduct transactions with each other. SWIFT helps to standardize communication between banks, ensuring that all parties have the same information and reducing the risk of errors and misunderstandings. SWIFT also provides a variety of services and products to its members, including messaging services, network connectivity, and financial messaging software software. These products and services help financial institutions to streamline their operations and reduce costs. However, there are also potential risks involved in using SWIFT. One of the biggest risks is the potential for cyber attacks. As SWIFT is a high-value target, it has been the target of several high-profile cyber attacks in recent years. Hackers have used a variety of methods to compromise the SWIFT network and steal funds, including phishing scams and malware attacks. These attacks can result in significant financial losses for banks and their customers. SWIFT is a crucial part of the global financial system, enabling banks to communicate and conduct transactions quickly and securely. Its standardized messaging format and global reach make it a valuable tool for international transactions. However, it is important to be aware of the potential risks involved in using SWIFT, particularly the risk of cyber attacks. As technology continues to evolve, SWIFT and other financial messaging networks will need to adapt to stay ahead of emerging threats. SWIFT stands for Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. It is a messaging network that enables banks and financial institutions to securely and quickly exchange information and conduct financial transactions. SWIFT was established in 1973 and is headquartered in Belgium. Today, it is the world's largest financial messaging network, used by over 11,000 financial institutions across 200 countries. So, how does SWIFT actually work? Let's break it down step by step. Step 1. Message Creation When a bank wants to send a financial transaction message to another bank, it first creates a message using SWIFT's standardized messaging format. This message contains information about the sender, and recipient banks, the amount to be transferred, and any other relevant details. Step 2. Message Transmission Once the message is created, it is sent to SWIFT's messaging network. SWIFT operates a network of data centers located around the world. When a message is sent, it is routed to the nearest data center, which then forwards it to the recipient bank's data center. Step 3. Message Processing The recipient bank's data center receives the message and processes the transaction. SWIFT's messaging format is designed to be easily readable by computers, which allows for quick and efficient processing. Once the transaction is processed, the recipient bank sends a response message back to the sender bank, confirming that the transaction has been completed. Step 4. Settlement Finally, the banks settle the transaction. Settlement is the process of transferring funds between banks to complete the transaction. This is typically done through a correspondent banking relationship, where one bank holds an account with another bank in the recipient's country. The sender bank transfers the funds to the correspondent bank, which then transfers the funds to the recipient bank. Once the funds are transferred, the transaction is considered complete. SWIFT, or Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, is the world's largest financial messaging network. It provides a standardized messaging system that enables banks and financial institutions to securely and quickly exchange information and conduct financial transactions. There are several benefits to using SWIFT, which we'll discuss in detail below. 
First and foremost, SWIFT enables fast and secure communication between banks. When a bank wants to send a financial transaction message to another bank, it first creates a message using SWIFT's standardized messaging format. This message contains information about the sender and recipient banks, the amount to be transferred, and any other relevant details. The message is then sent to SWIFT's messaging network, which routes it to the recipient bank. The recipient bank then receives the message and processes the transaction. Because SWIFT's messaging network is highly secure and reliable, banks can be confident that their messages will be delivered quickly and accurately. Another benefit of using SWIFT is that it provides a standardized messaging format that makes it easier for banks to communicate with each other. This is particularly important for international transactions, where different countries may have different financial regulations and requirements. SWIFT helps to ensure that all parties involved in a transaction have the same information, reducing the risk of errors and fraud. This standardization also reduces the need for complex and expensive custom integrations, making it easier for banks to work with each other. SWIFT also offers a global reach, which is crucial for international transactions. SWIFT's messaging network connects over 11,000 financial institutions across 200 countries, making it the largest financial messaging network in the world. This global reach means that banks can easily communicate and transact with other banks, regardless of where they are located. This helps to facilitate global trade and commerce, making it easier for businesses to expand and operate across borders. Another benefit of using SWIFT is that it offers a high level of security. SWIFT's messaging network is highly secure, with multiple layers of security protocols and encryption to protect messages and transactions. This is particularly important in today's digital age, where cyber attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated and frequent. By using SWIFT, banks can be confident that their messages and transactions are protected from cyber threats. Finally, SWIFT offers a range of value-added services that can help banks to improve their operations and customer service. These services include fraud detection and prevention, liquidity management, and trade finance services. By using these services, banks can better manage their risk, reduce costs, and offer better services to their customers. The benefits of using SWIFT include fast and secure communication, standardized messaging formats, global reach, high levels of security, and value-added services. These benefits make SWIFT a crucial part of the global financial system, enabling banks to communicate and conduct transactions quickly, securely, and efficiently. SWIFT is a crucial part of the global financial system, enabling banks to communicate and conduct transactions quickly, and securely. However, there are several potential risks involved in using SWIFT, including cyber attacks, errors, and compliance issues. One of the biggest risks of using SWIFT is the potential for cyber attacks. As SWIFT is a high value target, it has been the target of several high profile cyber attacks in recent years. Hackers have used a variety of methods to compromise the SWIFT network and steal funds, including phishing scams and malware attacks. These attacks can result in significant financial losses for banks and their customers. In 2016, one of the largest cyber attacks in history targeted the SWIFT network. Hackers stole $81 million from the Bangladesh Bank by sending fraudulent SWIFT messages to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. The hackers used malware to gain access to the Bangladesh Bank's SWIFT credentials, allowing them to send the fraudulent messages and transfer the funds to accounts in the Philippines. While some of the stolen funds were recovered, the incident highlighted the vulnerabilities of the SWIFT network and the need for increased cybersecurity measures. In addition to cyber attacks, there is also a risk of errors when using SWIFT. The standardized messaging format used by SWIFT helps to reduce the risk of errors, but mistakes can still occur. For example, a bank may accidentally enter the wrong account number or transfer the wrong amount. These errors can result in financial losses for the bank and its customers, as well as reputational damage. Compliance issues are another potential risk of using SWIFT. Banks and financial institutions must comply with a range of regulations and laws, including anti-money laundering and anti-terrorism financing regulations. Failure to comply with these regulations can result in significant fines and legal consequences. SWIFT has developed a range of compliance services and tools to help banks manage these risks, but compliance issues remain a potential risk for any institution using the SWIFT network. While SWIFT is a valuable tool for international financial transactions, there are several potential risks involved. These risks include cyber attacks, errors, and compliance issues. It is important for banks and financial institutions to be aware of these risks 
and take steps to mitigate them, such as implementing strong cybersecurity measures and compliance programs. As technology continues to evolve, SWIFT and other financial messaging networks will need to adapt to stay ahead of emerging threats. In conclusion, SWIFT is a crucial part of the global financial system, enabling banks to communicate and conduct transactions quickly and securely. Its standardized messaging format and global reach make it a valuable tool for international transactions. However, it is important to be aware of the potential risks involved in using SWIFT, particularly the risk of cyber attacks. As technology continues to evolve, SWIFT and other financial messaging networks will need to adapt to stay ahead of emerging threats. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative.